What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. It's a beautiful fall day here in Finley, Ohio, and I'm hanging out in the beer shed getting ready to check out a new beer. The beer I have today is called Creek Fest Beer Lager, and this is from the Neshaminy Creek Brewing Company, and they are out of Croydon, Pennsylvania. Now, this was a beer that Pete had sent to me a little while back, if you remember the unboxing video, and I've been anxious to try this for a while, but I've been trying to space out my Marzins and Oktoberfest so I just don't completely inundate the feed with one after another. Um, as far as glassware today, I'm going with the super cool Ohio Pint Day glass. Picked up a bunch of these the other day, went to a couple of different breweries and, and acquired a few. I'm going to be doing a giveaway um, on the channel at some point. I'll probably tie it into my Instagram account. And um, I did a beer, I did a giveaway last year of one of these beer glasses, so I'll do it again this year. They're actually really nice. If you went to the breweries on Pint Day, you could get one, but they tend to sell out pretty quickly. So I was fortunate to grab a couple. Um, now back to the beer. Like I said, this is a Marzen 5.2% ABV IBUs not listed on here um, But it's a Marzen so I imagine it's fairly low. The artwork is kind of pretty cool Looks like angry hops or drunken hops having a, a fight out of at of <laughs> Oktoberfest party here I Went to the website and checked it out. It looked like they had some really wild artwork in general um, for all the cans So that was pretty cool and they also had a beer called John J-A-W-N which was a pale ale for those of you that aren't familiar with this word, this is a Philadelphia word. I remember watching a documentary on it once, and it's kind of uh, the perfect word because it can refer to anything. Like you can say, pass me that John over there, and it means a thing. Or you could be saying, hey, somebody's looking good. Like, look at that John over there, right? It means a guy or a girl. It literally can mean anything, and it depends, I guess, largely on context as to what the word means. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of, I guess, the spoken word, and when you hear a word came out of your town and you guys kind of made it up and it catches on a bit, pretty cool but i have to check that out that pale ale at some point um ratings wise this does pretty good 3.64 on untapped 3.81 on beer advocate beer advocate with an 86 overall very good so as soon as i cracked that we saw the head start to come out as far as the color kind of looks like what you'd expect so far kind of that uh caramel kind of amber color of a marzen now the one thing i will say the head looks kind of nice nice tan color to it if i'm going to use my brew hq chart i'd probably say this is i don't know maybe about an eight pale amber the head looks nice it's at least two and a half fingers and that wasn't even a knob head pour it just kind of poured that way nice tan frothy head you know it's kind of odd it looks quite quite delicate even though it's you know kind of thick and full you can see it but it looks like delicate lacing in there let's give it a sniff You get that kind of sweet caramel thing you get with Marzins in general. Maybe like a light toasty smell as well. Let's give it a shot. Cheers. Hey, Pete, thanks for sending this one out, my brother. That's good. Um, I would say this. Medium bodied. It's almost kind of crisp for an Oktoberfest. You definitely pick up kind of like a, a, a breadiness to it. You pick up the caramel flavors you'd expect. You kind of get a light hoppiness, but it's nothing too crazy. Just does complement it quite well. The hoppiness almost tastes like slightly spicy. Um, I can't quite place it. It's not like a kind of a regular hop you'd expect on the end of a Morrison. Light peppery hop. Yeah, it's quite nice. Um, this is a really good beer. I don't I don't know that I've had anything from the, the Chamonix Creek Brewing before. Um, but, you know, again, it got shipped out from Pennsylvania. Um, but this is a, a really solid beer. Like, uh, of all the Oktoberfests I've had so far, this is in the top couple. I mean, this is, this is really good. Yeah, the smell. Slightly unique, too. Like I said, you pick up the kind of, like, sweet smell you'd expect. Like that sweet malt. Then there's a little something else too. It's almost like a, like a, I don't know, it's like a toasted grain kind of thing, but something else going on there. When I took that last that last sip, I could pick it up. It was really nice. Yeah. All in all, this is a, a really solid beer. Creek Fest beer, Creek Fest beer lager from the Chamonix Creek Brewing. This would be a big thumbs up. I would drink these all day long. 
This is a really good beer. Thanks, Pete, for sending this out. Thrilled to be able to try this. I look forward to checking out some more beers from the Chamonix Creek. I need to take a, a beer mission and head it back to Philly and see what they got going on in that area. I've been going 13 years, and things have changed drastically. Um, back in the day, you kind of had the you know the big guys, the ones that survived the 90s and not much else. Now it seems like there's breweries every out there, so you know everywhere out there. So I gotta go check them out. Hey, hopefully you liked the video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up, hit that like button. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, you got any comments or questions, jump in down below. Have you had Creek Fest beer? If so, what do you think of it? If you haven't had this, what's your favorite Oktoberfest of the season? There's been so many great ones out there. I've seen so many good reviews and tried so many myself. I don't even know where to begin. They're delicious. Hey, prost.